You talked about how your father was such an influential sort of figure in shaping and uh, your interest in the arts and uh, your identity as an artist. But do you find that your perspective on the arts changed in any significant way once you yourself became a father? Uh, yes. Um, well, for a start, I, I mean, I, I have inherited all these portraits that my dad painted of me when I was young. And, you know, I have them around and, and I love them. And But it was not until... Uh, I had kids that I, I look, you know, you look at your children and invariably, well, at least hopefully, uh, you see a resemblance. And in my daughter, there's, I, there's a very kind of strong physical resemblance to me. And then when I turned to my collection of paintings of, that I'd inherited from my dad and looked at these portraits of me when I was young, I was kind of bedazzled to see that what I was looking at was in essence a portrait of my young daughter because the, the, the facial uh, resemblances were so strong and I just found it quite amazing how art, how a portrait, how a painting can churn up so much in terms of our human relationship with an image. I mean it's so different from photography. A portrait is not this frozen moment in time. It's a constantly breathing uh, uh, evocation of the soul of the sitter and in this case my being, my essence that I was looking at in these portraits of me as a four-year-old was transferable to the young person who was now part of my life, my daughter. And I mean, that's a real blinder when you realize that art has this kind of other level, this other power. Uh, and, and, and so uh, as, a, as a dad, I, 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 I was so grateful to have these images. But also, um, when you have kids, I mean, Clementine is incessantly wanting to sketch and draw and make a mess, and um, and it, it, you know, it's it's a sort of I think it's a universal urge in, in young children. They want to make their mark. Uh, it's a human instinct. And what is so uplifting about a, a young child's energy and enthusiasm for, for 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 creativity is that they really couldn't give two hoots about what the end result is. It's the process that they find thrilling. Uh, and that for me was a sort of confirmation of what I've always wanted to write about or talk about when I, when I um, discuss art or make films about art. I am led not by you know, the meaning of a work of art, not by the, the, the kind of cerebral interrogation of what the artist's life was like and how they came to the point where they created. I'm all about the process. Because it is in the the kind of battle that an artist has with his materials and the canvas that you 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 can really trace the development of an image. Why it came to look the way it did is, in my opinion, you know, ninety percent dirty fingers and paintbrush struggle, and then the concept, the conceit, works its way into that. But, you know, you, whenever I start a painting, I never end up with what I thought I was going to have at the beginning. The, the process leads me much more than what I in, in intellectually intend to do. <laughs> the accidents of creativity are vital to what I end up with on canvas. And to see in my kids that, that, that absolute exuberance in the process, that love for it, that, that, that carelessness, uh, it's just like a superpower. And, uh, and, and I just wish that more people could, um, could, could continue to feel that as they get older uh, and realize that art, you know, especially during these difficult times, has an enormous power and potential to uplift us and give us an outlet. If only we could stop worrying about whether we're happy with the finished product. <laughs>